All right, let's talk about how to fill out these field notes um, as we do our differential survey. So looking at the image we have here, we set up our instrument, we've leveled it, we're looking back at a benchmark, right? So that's a location that we already know. So this is our benchmark. The PT, the point, is a description of the point that we're actually measuring. Okay, so our back sight, what we read along the way, is 3.31 feet. So 3.31 feet, that's what we read for that back sight. Um, now the elevation we already know of this benchmark, that's what makes it a benchmark, it's 410 feet in this case. So we're always looking back at a place that we know. Um, I'm gonna make all this text a little bit larger so we can read it more easily. Let's go 18 point font, that's better. Okay, so benchmark, 6.31 feet, um, looking at an elevation of 410. So the height of our instrument is always going to be whatever elevation we're at, plus the back sight that we're looking to. This is our elevation up to, there we go. So 410 plus 6.31, 416.31 feet. So that is the height of our instrument. That's this line right here where we're looking through. Now we turn around and look at a foresight. So we turn around over here on the right hand side. We are seeing a rod reading of 1.25 feet. That is a foresight because we're looking forward to an elevation we don't know. But we do know the height of the instrument. So the height of the instrument was 416.31. We just had a foresight of 1.52. So we can calculate what the elevation is. That is equal to the height of the instrument minus the foresight, which gives us 415.06, right, what we saw right here. And we're gonna, on a differential survey, you do not move the tripod. We're gonna leave that in place and basically look at a whole bunch of different sites. So if I see somewhere else and that's actually 4.5 feet, let's say, that I read off the rod, Again, this is always, the elevation is the height of the instrument. Subtract the foresight, because you're looking at that part of the stick and you're going downwards to the ground. That's at 411. So really, all you need to measure right here, right now, and record is all of this stuff, all the stuff I'm highlighting right now in bright blue. So that needs to happen right now. The height of the instrument, the elevations, you could always calculate later. Uh, if you want to save time and not worry about that. Um, but you want to make sure as you get these readings and also you get the top and bottom stadia, uh, though that will tell you how far away you are, make sure you do record that. Um, and also record the angle that is at you know the bottom part of that auto level. Record that angle as well so you know which direction you're looking at.